Singapore will deliver its third tranche of humanitarian assistance for Gaza via Jordan, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs MFA said on Friday, March 15. Minister for Foreign Affairs Vivian Balakrishnan will make a working visit to Amman. Jordan from Saturday to Sunday to hand over the aid in cooperation with the Jordanian government. The Republic of Singapore Air Force RSAF will be deploying an A330 multi-role tanker, transport MRTT, and a C-130 transport aircraft for the mission. At the invitation of the Jordanian government, the C-130 will stay on and conduct humanitarian airdrop operations, staged out of Jordan, with support from the Jordanian Armed Forces. MFA said. The Singapore Armed Forces SAF Changi Regional Humanitarian Assistance and Disaster Relief Coordination Centre RHCC led efforts to coordinate and consolidate contributions of humanitarian aid supplies from agencies, including the SAF. Ministry of Health MOH and Non-Governmental Organisation Relief Singapore, the Ministry of Defence MindF, said on Friday. The 69 personnel deployed to support these operations departed earlier on Friday on the MRTT and C-130 from Chengji Air Base, East and Paya Leba Air Base respectively. Dr. Balakrishnan's visit reaffirms Singapore's strong ties with partners in the Middle East, which have allowed us to deliver effective and timely humanitarian aid to civilians in Gaza, said MFA. He will be accompanied on his visit by Senior Minister of State for Defence, Zaki Mohammed and officials from MFA. Prime Minister Li Xin Long also wrote to Jordan's King Abdullah II to convey the Singapore government's appreciation to the Jordanian government for facilitating the delivery of the country's aid to Gaza. Mr Lee added that the RSAF welcomes the opportunity to work with the Royal Jordanian Air Force to conduct airdrops of humanitarian aid supplies to Gaza. Given the dire humanitarian situation in Gaza, the international community should work together to alleviate the suffering and save as many innocent lives as possible. Singapore will do what it can to help the civilians in Gaza, said Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee also said that Singapore continues to appreciate King Abdullah's active leadership in seeking a resolution to the long-standing Israeli-Palestinian conflict. We believe that a negotiated two-state solution, consistent with relevant United Nations Security Council resolutions, is the only viable option to achieve a comprehensive, just and durable peace between Israelis and the Palestinians. The way forward will be more challenging than ever, but we cannot lose hope said Mr. Lee.